Should you cut out negative people who fuel your limiting beliefs? Perhaps you have a friend who constantly makes negative comments about your body, or maybe your significant other is always putting you down in small ways. You may not know it, but the people you care about most may be fueling your limiting beliefs. It's always difficult to acknowledge, let alone accept, when a friend, significant other, or family member is making you miserable. If you've had a relationship with this person for a while, they might know exactly how to cut you down. Chances are they've been chipping away at your self-esteem for years, probably because they're insecure about themselves in some way. Still, the question of whether you should cut out negative people who fuel your limiting beliefs is a tough one to answer. Let's break it down, shall we? When should you cut out negative people? People with toxic traits struggle to respect the boundaries set by others. Instead of understanding and accepting people's limits, they tend to react strongly when faced with such boundaries, showing that those limits are absolutely necessary. In contrast to people who are emotionally healthy, who tend to recognize and respect boundaries, even if it's uncomfortable, toxic people will keep pushing, bargaining, and crossing these boundaries. Oftentimes, they do this because they believe that constant pressure will eventually make others give in. When others do give in, it reinforces their behavior. So when should you cut negative people who are fueling your limiting beliefs out of your life? Well, there is not exactly a right time to do this, but there are some signs you can look for when determining whether you should cut out a negative person. They're manipulative. If someone in your life is manipulative and controlling, that's a good sign that you should cut them out. For a toxic person, relationships aren't about making real connections that are built on love and respect. Usually, toxic people see relationships as a way to get what they want. Noticing manipulation and control, especially in the early stages of a relationship or friendship, can be tough. You really need to be tuned into your emotions, which is easier said than done. They always have to be right. We all know someone like this. Toxic people often struggle to admit when they're wrong, whether it's a small mistake or hurting someone deeply. Owning up to it threatens their ego. They always claim to be right and put their self first. Usually, toxic people won't own up to their mistakes. However, they'll be quick to broadcast any mistakes you make. This is a great example of how toxic people fuel your limiting beliefs. They play the victim. Playing the victim is another example of manipulation. Once again, toxic people believe that they can't be wrong, which is why if you call them out for something they did, they'll be quick to play the victim. In contrast, an emotionally healthy person will be able to own up to their mistakes and recognize when they've hurt your feelings. They'll also say sorry, which a toxic or negative person will rarely do, unless they're trying to manipulate you in some way. Why should you cut out negative people? Despite the limiting beliefs that the negative people in your life have instilled within you, you deserve to be happy. If you hold on to relationships with toxic people, you're going to end up feeling emotionally drained, demoralized, and unappreciated. Obviously, cutting negative people out is never easy, but it is necessary. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.